Life is what you make it, your flow's a makeshift I draw this off inspiration, you trace shit Patience been my life story They say the trial's almost over and I can taste the glory It's hard to ignore me with this big ass chain All this bright ass watch, all this big ass bling one thing about it, see this more than a name. Say the hell with the verse, still the real game. No, this is a sample shopping episode sponsored by Decan Shop. And I just wanted to let you guys know, there are now bottles being sold on DecanShop.com. Some full, some, you know, uh, partially full. And prices reflect that. Uh, the Artisan Parfume, the original vanilla scent is on there. Um, there's a bottle of Bond Number no. 9 Chinatown. A half bottle of Joe de Poe by uh, Serge Latons for like 50 bucks, uh, a bottle of vintage Fahrenheit, um, Neroli Portofino, Straight to Heaven, Eau de Bao, which is now discontinued. Check that, check there. If you're, you know, you, not you want, there's a niche scent you want, you don't necessarily want to get a full bottle, keep checking into Decan Shop because it might pop up and you might be able to get a real nice deal on it. Also, just so you know, there's a ton of new decants available, stuff by uh, Parfumed Empire, stuff by Tokyo Milk, uh, the Chanel exclusive line, Cure de Russe, is now in there as well. If you've never smelled that, it's a beautiful Chanel scent. Macy's Francis Curtijan, uh, La Artisan uh, Parfumé's Merchant Loop is there. So definitely check out decantshop.com. Uh, code MAX12 sends you 12% all the time. You can always get 12% off. Great deal. And again, e-gift cards available for those last minute or hard to get Christmas gifts. What a great gift to get someone who you don't know what to get uh, them. Get them a, a, an e-card uh, to, to decanshop.com and let them get some really luxurious fragrances. It's a great hobby to get people into, especially if you have a friend or family member. You want them to upgrade their fragrance um, game a little bit. This is sort of a way to let them know and, and without really, you know, it's sort of a subtle hint. Uh, but or it's not even really looked at as a subtle hint uh, because, you know, it's, it's a gift. So definitely check that out decanshop.com they provided the four cents we're going to look at today now first off we have a montal scent what a surprise this one is called grayland and in the coming year i would say expect a lot more montal reviews both on sample shopping and in general it's a house that i want to explore more and collect some more of their line i have intense cafe but I'm looking to add another two or three in 2014. Typical Montel pricing for this one, 50 ml for $110, 100 ml for 160. Shop around for Montels. You can usually find them on sites like FragranceNet and Beauty Encounter for a bit cheaper. Notes on Grayland are cedar, sandalwood, vetiver, guyac wood, ginger, pepper, leather, musk, and rose. Now, Montel fragrances with me are usually hit or miss. They rarely fall in the middle but for me this one is square in the middle um online it gets comparisons to gucci pour on one but to me i think that's a lot better than this this is about pepper sandalwood cumin and incense and i think cumin can often ruin a fragrance it's very rare that i like fragrances with cumin in them um declaration by cartier's got a little bit of it uh more cardamom in that but this is a montel that i couldn't see myself buying you know and, we were talking about this online, uh, and when the perfumer is also head of the house, it can be very dangerous. You know, you have to start wondering who's editing the catalog and saying to the perfumer, maybe we should not release this one. This isn't a bad fragrance, um, but it's not worth Montel pricing. I guess if you're a fan of cumin fragrances, check this one out. To me, it smells like a lot of other niche scents out there. Sweet, spicy, not bad. Uh, Grayland's a great name though because it's one of those blah scents. So, number one. <laughs> Next up, we have the second fragrance we're going to look at in sample shopping so far from Andy Tower. Uh, we looked at Lair du Desert Marocaine about six weeks ago and that led me to pick up a full bottle. So, let's see how Incense Extreme fares. Now, I'm a big fan of Andy Tower as a person and a perfumer. I like his prices as well. You can normally get a 50 ml for 125, which at the quality of his fragrances is a great deal. Um, unlike other incense fragrances that talk the talk, this one walks the walk. It's got a content ratio of 25% Boswellia Serrata, and that's the type of tree in India from which incense resin is taken. So this is a very high quality scent. Obviously, incense is the premier note here, and it's surrounded by coriander, citrus, and pentagrain at the top. Iris in the middle and frankincense 
deal and frankincense and cedar and ambergris in the base and i'll make this really easy for you guys do you like really high end incense incense based fragrances if no move on if yes then i check this one out this is sort of that same quality incense that tower used in Laird du desert uh just punched up and surrounded by ambergris and petty grain i personally am probably going to pass on this because i have a few uh, already, I have a good deal of incense fragrances. And if I was looking to pick up a solely incense fragrance, I'd probably pick up something from the Comme des Garçons line, like Avignon. Uh, but I do appreciate the quality here. It's top notch. I'm not in the market for a pure incense scent, but if I was, this would definitely be on my radar. Next up, we have a scent from Serge Luton called, uh, let me make sure I get the name right. Whoops. Like toy soldiers, man. <laughs> um, this is called Borneo 1834. And as of right now, uh, Adrian on Decan Shop is selling a full bottle of this for, I think, $165. This is a very hard fragrance to get your hands on. Serge Luton does offer it as an exclusive in a bell jar on the website, but you're going to pay over 200 bucks for that in contrast to regular Luton prices, which are normally around 120 to 140 sometimes even less. Uh, on Amazon or Beauty Encounter. I think Cherokee is like 76 bucks now on uh, Amazon. Uh, this fragrance has a lot of fans, <clears throat> so I was really anxious to get my hands on this one. Christopher Sheldrake's The Perfume, and this was launched in 2005, and notes on this are patchouli, white flowers, cardamom, galbanum, French labdanum, and cacao. And guys, <laughs> this is one of the best fragrances I've ever gotten my nose on, but I'm not going to be buying it. I'm not a big fan of patchouli. I don't like the sort of menthol eucalyptus quality that it can sometimes have. And this has this. But I recognize quality. And this is really, really high quality patchouli laced with a raisiny rich mocha. And the two together are head turning. Absolutely head turning. To my nose, this is a cross between the opening of Cozy uh, by Parfumé General and the dry down of Angel Men. Easily the best Serge Luton fragrance I've ever gotten my nose on. I think it's better than Cherokee. I think it's better than Jejambre. I think it's better than Fian Agui. I won't be buying it anytime soon, but I could see it growing on me. We'll see. I really like this. This is really special juice, guys. You should definitely check this out. Buy a decan of this one. Trust me. Especially if you like chocolate fragrances or patchouli fragrances. Now, finally for this week, we've got a Frederick Ma fragrance. And at this point... There aren't too many uh, scents from this house that I haven't gotten my nose on. I think two or three at most. So expect at least a couple more of Mal scents, uh, male and female, because this is like a top three house in my eyes. This one is called Wa de Orage, which means wood storm, uh, also referred to as French lover in Europe. I don't know why. Uh, typical male pricing for this one, 50 ml is 170, 100 ml 250, not cheap. But quality on these is always second to none. And this is a per, uh, creation by Perfume Pierre Bourdon. I love how they always make the fragrance, uh, the, the Perfume is a star of these fragrances. And Pierre Bourdon's a big time Perfume. He did Cool Water. There's a rumor out there. He did Green Irish Tweed as well. Now, Frederick Ma calls this the ultimate men's scent. So let's see if it lives up to that billing. Notes are Angelica, Wood, Vetiver, Pimento, Florentine iris, galbanum, patchouli, incense, and musk. Uh, Bourdain loves putting uh, iris into his Frederick Ma fragrances. He did the iris pudra uh, for Ma as well. And I caused a bit of a storm <laughs> on a Facebook group with this because I don't like it. And a lot of people do. You know, a lot of reviewers who I respect, uh, Lupe, uh, Mickers really like it. Uh, Abraham, I don't know if you guys, he's got his own channel as well. He's a Swedish uh, uh, reviewer just started reviewing well, all of those guys three guys have great great noses so you know I don't disagree with them lightly but uh, I just find this to be really odd I can deal with Angelica because it's in Le Jus Sans Fate which is a favorite fragrance of mine but this one it makes me think of celery it, it, it reminds me of a dry martini or like a celery consomme like a really expensive Jean George restaurant it's just bizarre uh, it, it's like a dry, dry ginseng, and, and, and uh, some people say it takes a while to come around to. I've heard, I've read online, some people are comparing it to a hamster cage, 
Uh, I don't think I'll ever come around to this. I think there are better Jitty scents out there. Like you saw Faith certainly one. Uh, Humanise by Frappin is definitely another one. So I don't know why someone would wear this. Please let me know what I'm missing because I'm sincerely confused. It's not for me. Um, if I was going to put these in order, you guys obviously know. Sergio Torres Moreno, uh, 1834 is clear, clear winner. Tower Incense Extreme is number two. Then I'd go Grayland and Bois de Orage. So just to let you guys know, another niche fragrance review coming this week. I told you guys, man, heavy hitters until the end of the year. Then there'll be more good ones as well. But I'm, I'm going to finish this year with a bang pause. And uh, just so you guys know, another episode of Sample Shopping next week. We'll be looking at fragrances from the House of Tom Ford's Private Blend. Another Montal. Let's see if they can redeem themselves. We also got a fragrance from the different company we'll be looking at next week. And we're going to finish it up with a Nasamato uh, fragrance next week. And uh, we've got two more sample shopping episodes after that. So four total from this whole. Uh, Adriana, besides sending me those 24 fragrances we looked at last week, she sent me about, I don't know, 20 decants uh, of top A1 shit. So we're going to go through all those. Remember to check decantshop.com out. Now selling bottles. Also... Max 12 saves you 12% all the time. If you're not buying decans, you're just fooling yourself, man. Or you're wasting money. You know, it really is a waste of money. Unless you live in an area like New York or LA where there's a scent bar or, or a Saks or a Barney's. And you can get access to these sort of fragrances every day. See if you like stuff. If you're just blind buying online, don't do that, man. Please don't do that. I don't think anyone's bowling hard enough to just blind buy shit like this. And if you are, I don't even that's not, I don't even respect that really because it's just fucking stupid when you can get decants like this. All right, so do it. Just trust me on this one. I I don't give advice too often on here. I'm giving advice with that. Check out decantshop.com. Use coupon code Max12 and get yourself a decant of this man. This um. Baneo 1834. This shit is sick, man. I, I do not like patchouli. It makes me think of head shops and, you know, fish concerts and shit like that. I'm not down with any of that shit. Um, I just don't fuck with it personally. But this is great. This is this is just really awesome. So, again, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I obviously am Maximilian. Big face got me fucked up. I admit I'm too weak to stay broke. Say fuck it and suck it up. So I worked out with some niggas from a strip. Started off slow. We was all curling nicks. Couple months later, I was dead lifting bricks. Then I added more weight with intent to get.